some places we go to just feel different than other places. You can feel, and it sounds stupid, almost from a mile off, that there's something in the air that is going to make the night interesting. And this was one of those nights that just did not disappoint us whatsoever. Mm, like a little girl screaming. This is just f***ed up. This is just insane. <laughs> Can you scare the shit out of me then? We literally just need to get out of it. I can't even look at <laughs> it. I don't... The where we can... No, what's that? I have no idea. That is the most terrifying investigation we've ever done. And I'm walking away from it right now thinking, holy crap, we've done this, we've come across something. And in my opinion, a lot of that, all of that, fuck it, all of it, mostly, is paranormal. Okay, so here's the situation. Over to the left, there's a red van parked in one of the entrances to this massive abandoned house in the middle of the woods. So, dog walkers, security, or what, just a broken down car? We don't know. Or a deterrent. Thing is, it's unlikely to be an owner. This, this place is worth millions and that van's worth about nine quid. Or I think they came free in a Christmas cracker, potentially. Yeah. It wasn't really the greatest security van. To me, it looks like um, a deterrent. Yeah. I'd just go look, there's someone here to stop people walking down the drive. So it started off like, quite nerve wracking, really, because in the main entrance, there was a car parked and we thought, oh, great, you know, security, or there's people there doing maintenance or something. So we decided to take it in slow, go in the dark, use a night vision camera and go through the forest. They got all the lights on in the house. Oh wow, okay, that's not good. Right there. I don't think it is actually. Oh no. No, because it's right there. You, you can sort of feel your your pulse going. You can feel the adrenaline starting to, to rack up. Your, your nerves are getting shot to pieces every inch closer you get to that building. And we see lights in the distance and we think that has to be the house. Damn it, it is not actually abandoned. It turned out that it was actually just lights really far away and the house was a lot closer than we thought. We need to go in stealth. Yeah. Same as always. Same as always, something always feels off. Which is an awesome sign. Stepping inside this house is, it's like going back in time. It was just so horror looking. The way the lights are, the way the hallways are, the way the, the corners of the rooms just seem so random, they're so human. It's, there's, there's no thought really gone into the design, it's just put things where they should be to be able to get somewhere else. It, does, it almost doesn't make sense, but it, and it makes you feel creepy because it makes you feel like you're in the design of a human mind and that's always an uneasy place to be. I 
can't believe all the stuff is still here. Or like, just as much as there is. That's creepy. It's locked. It's not locked, but I can't get through it. Like it's not even shut properly. Just keep looking. It's a big place. Yeah. That is so creepy up there. I don't like that. I mean, is this the lounge? I mean, it's so big. Who knows? Cool. Look at this. this. This place is captivating. It's really amazing, isn't it? It reminds me of something you see from like Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. There's more bat roost stuff. Right. That's really interesting. Oh, come so it's, it's, it must be like, not used still, but people are obviously, um, like they know it's here and they're sort of doing something with it. It's a great two listed building, isn't it? Yeah. So it's sort of someone looks after, but just left. Yeah. It's really odd. I think we need to. I think we need to. I think we need to... Hello? Neither of us are moving then. Can you do that again? Are there any spirits here? Listening to us. Are you in this room?
Is it a tree brushing against the outside or something? Fuck's sake. No, it's inside. Otherwise it wouldn't echo like that. It sounds above us. Yeah, where is it go upstairs? In night vision or? I can't see now. Let's just fucking, let's just breathe it. Let's just see. I don't see how there could be someone here that hasn't said anything yet. Do you know what I mean? It's paranormal. Oh yeah, that's what I mean, it's like... I mean, look how abandoned it actually is. Holy shit, Joe. I reckon these stairs go down. They do if you're upstairs. You go first. Because if you lie, I know it's not a good idea. Well, you would say that. I'm not going to lie, I kind of know it's not a good idea right now. What's not a good idea? Most people would be out of here after you walk walking above them and know what I'm talking about. Oh god, this looks amazing. Hello? That was. Hello? Is there anybody here? If there's somebody here, we're just explorers and don't mean you any harm. We don't mean the building any harm either. That was like a door. Yeah, It's just once we get past that thing of actually being on our own. Oh, wow. Well. Oh. I'm just saying that this is a very horrible building. It's but amazing. Very magnificent at the same time. Oh, well, that's just creepy. Just a chair looking out the window. Yeah. Well, a chair to sit on to look out the window. This has been abandoned for quite a while by looking at the decay of yeah, has, yeah. the ceiling and whatever. Very weird. Where did that come from? Because to me, when you said hello at the stairs, it sounded like a latch. Yeah. Well, it's from my right, so it was down that way. Of course it is. <laughs> and that just looks haunting. It does. Shit. Hello? Huge bedroom, aren't they? Each one has its own fireplace. Don't you have that home? A fireplace in every single room? No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you don't need two fireplaces. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at that. Yeah, that's just as it goes downstairs. Or does it go up the stairs? We do from down there. Insects. Are they dead insects? Bat crap. What is the <laughs> What the hell is it? That noise. 
This is just bizarre. Wait, what? I know, and it goes further around here too. It's out of a horror story. Mm, like a little girl screaming. I remember exploring upstairs and we were walking through kind of an add-on area. You could tell it was an add-on because the way the corridors are oddly shaped. And as we were going, I know that I heard some sort of scream. That was wrong. I definitely heard that. Another room down here. That was a little girl. Yeah. You got me in the most of capture that on there. I'm not gonna lie, but this is creepy as hell. This is amazing. Right. We now need, just need to check around that corner because it goes being, up again. I'm not being funny, but who builds a house where you walk out and you have that to it, greet you? Yeah, it's just odd. The whole thing is odd, but from like the vague research, this was just built onto and onto and onto. From the 16th like, century, wasn't it? Yeah, for literally like 500 years, this place has been constantly adapted. And I don't want to move because that scream really got me. Yeah. Well, let's just let's look upstairs. If there is another stairs, I think there is, but there I don't is, see yeah. yeah, it looks like it goes up there. And that's kind of something where we just heard that from. The window's open. So, outside. Mm. Oh my god, are you going to have to play that back? I'm going to have to hear that. I'm just going to delete it, actually. Oh, good idea. The ghost hunters are here. These windows are open for the bats, aren't they? Oh my god. It's just endless. Wow. This is just fucked up. This is just insane. There's actually an attic room and they had curtains. So you can smell the bats. Mm -hmm. Look on the other side. Oh man, this is a bit disgusting though. This floor is not good. Okay. That's just not a nice place to be. There's just loft insulation. Okay. There's just vermin shite. The floor is dodgy. Let's go, um... We just know there's no one here, that's the important thing. We now need to go straight to cool and out because we're getting responses. I think go to the middle floor. The stairs? Yeah. We're calling out to any spirits who may reside here. We're here to make contact, mean you no harm. We hope that you don't mean us any harm. It's a beautiful building. The wind makes it sound like there's more going on than there actually is. Yeah. Can you make a sound? Can you make contact with us? Wind? Maybe, yeah. Can you make it sound louder if that was you? Fuck off. No, don't fuck off. That was insane. That, that was, was amazing. Done. Thank you. Can you do that again? Mm. 
one thing we always like to ask is, in these places, and we do this a lot, there are any, any doors that are open, can you just slam them for us and we'll know whereabouts you are. We're just wondering if you can hear us, and if you can, did you die in this house? Did you hear that? What did you hear? So a higher pitched. Mm -hmm. There's something happening there. Right at the end. Yeah. Please make yourself known. We're not here to harm anyone or damage anything. I just want to have a conversation with you about the history of this building. Can you tell us something interesting about this building? I didn't really see this room, but is that the same, it's the same, same doors? Room, yeah. Are you able to shut these doors? Or can you slam any door in the house? My ears are really sharp tonight. Yeah. I can hear a lot. Me too. Do you need help? Can you do that again? Can you copy me? Things just happened. Um, it sounded like a rat. We were in, I think it was the biggest bedroom. I think it was the biggest bedroom. I can't actually remember. The one with it has two doors. We were stood in there for 20 minutes or so and you can hear something running across the floor. It's got that kind of scratchy sound that you'd expect to hear from a rat, but it was, um, it was interesting because it, it started things going. It, it kind of, we thought there is some activity whether it's paranormal or an animal, there is something happening and we can sort of start to to kind of feed off that energy, kind of get that fear into us, feel like we're being looked at. There's something else there that we can start working off.
there were so many things that happened that actually the rat sound wasn't the biggest sound. Yeah. Well, it's the only sound I can think can be definitely sort of debunked as, a, as a, an animal. Mm -hmm. The other sounds were just bizarre. There's so many knocks, it's actually insane. Was that a whistle? Can you hear us? Please can you use your voice? Was that? Like seriously, what was that? Did you hear it? It's, it sounded like a dog. Yeah. I can hear a lot. Ow, fuck. <laughs> that was right outside. I can hear a lot when we're really quiet. I think with places like this, if there was actually anyone looking after it, they wouldn't just leave it open. True. I mean, that, that was the first, well, the second door we tried, and it was just open. I mean... Maybe it was a fox. Mm. Are you here with us? Can you hear us? Can you go over to the fireplace? There's a device on the top of this fireplace. Can you affect it in any way? Can you throw it off or can you Light it up. Can you set any devices off on the top of the stairs? This is all just so we know you're here. We'd love to have a conversation with you, but we can't if we don't know if you're here or not. Maybe you don't want us to know you're here. But if you want us to leave, that's, that's fine. We will respect that. If you can just do something with that device on the top of the fireplace, whatever you want to do, knock it over, make a light up, then we will go, if that's what you want. Please. Just 
Try your best. Use your energy. Try and get that to light up. Knock it over. Throw it. Anything you want to do, anything you can do, use our energy. Shall we, if we move just down the corridor, can you chuck it off while we're away? The voice on the fireplace. If you light it up or knock it off while we are away, that would be lovely for us. Thank you so much. The camera's against the wall. We haven't really done anything around here. This is where we came in, but we heard weird noises when we came in. Yeah. So maybe let's do something in here. You call cool out. If there is someone here, you've probably heard us walking around and talking for the last couple of hours or so. Let me. Yeah. Um, we should know that we are just here to try and talk to you. And we keep asking you to do things and they might be annoying. But it's purely just so that we know that you're here. If there's anything that we can help you with, anything we can do for you, can you let us know? Use any of the devices that we've laid out. Try and use your voice. Move something, tap something, anything, just to let us know that you can hear us. Do you hear that? There's a rat falling down the stairs. <laughs> that could have been the cat, but we'll check it a bit. No, I don't have thought so. No, I suppose. It's a bit too far out that way. Yeah, I can hear it up the stairs, even though the cat is upstairs. The cat, it was like... I don't know. I think one of the first things we captured was the noise on a locked-off camera that I put inside, I would say, the main function area. There's a massive room and I was hoping that maybe a K2 would get thrown or it would go off. But looking back at the footage, we actually found out that nothing had happened to the K2 itself, but we did capture a very strange noise. Hello? It's really frustrating, there's so many noises, but I can't pinpoint what they are, and they're not distinctive, and they're not responsive. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I can hear and feel nothing in this part of the building. <laughs> Apart from that noise, everything we've heard after calling out has been upstairs and that was up there that like whatever that Let's noise is okay. we're gonna come upstairs now if you can do anything to the devices on the top of the stairs please can you do so now There's a dead bat there. Oh, nice. 
Oh, I think that's really weird. He's like latched onto the stairs, but dead. So not a life now. Well, yeah, that was the same thing, I suppose. I just want to check devices. The cat ball's fucking going off. Joe. Yeah. I caught it on camera that the cat ball was just going off. I have a question though for you. Yeah, I'm waiting <laughs> for you to walk. No, I have a question though. Yeah? Do you believe in the cat ball um, being paranormal? Not 100% no. I'm 100% that it's not. <laughs> I, it's, it's a good thing because we can test it, mm. you know, if it can actually move, then that's, yes. That's what I'm, I've really got out for, movement rather than the light up. But it's still interesting because now if like the, the REM pod went off, it's like... Mm. Uh, I think we made it quite clear in the video that we don't believe a cat ball going off is actually paranormal activity. They seem to just go off anyway, but they're a good visual representation if, if the, the cat ball gets moved you can, it's all, obviously your attention goes straight to the, the ball and if you've seen the ball's moved, then you, that was probably more likely to be paranormal. It's just going off and it hadn't moved, we don't class as paranormal. Can you set off the REM pod? Which is the black aerial device. We have to do is walk near it. Fuck. Fucking Jesus, you scared the shit out of me then. Fuck me. Christ alive, man. Did you see, if, what, if when you see a big black shadow come to yeah, the left? No, you made me jump. Yeah. That made you jump. <laughs> okay. Do you know, actually, that's almost frustrating because if the REM pod does go off and we don't get it on camera, then it could just be a bat. Cat ball. <laughs> no, because you almost have to touch it and bats just... But a bat could. Yeah. Potentially go that close. Right, let's go down there. That that felt horrible. Yeah. What I would suggest now is that sort of almost reset again. Yeah. Gather everything that we've got here because we don't know if the K two has gone off. We'll see after. The REM pod is not going off. The cat ball is. The cat ball is probably bollocks. Mm. Let's pack up, gather our things, and go down the far end where we think we just heard that weird noise. Yeah, I don't believe in that cat ball. No. I think we should give it to a cat. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, 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 hang on. Don't stop recording yet, because let's go down to check the camera and mm -hmm. everything, all in one shot. And then I'll come back up this way and pack this up. If that moves down the stairs, that would be great. <laughs> if that's you affecting the cat ball, push it down the stairs. happen but we'll have to check back on this. We were definitely getting more in this building when we were just being completely silent yeah. in the sort of centre sections of the building or just walking around. It, it doesn't feel like calling out is really gathering anything. No you're right. I think it's almost the case let's just go and sit and listen and see what the building sounds like and then figure it out from there. Yeah. So we went to the end room which was down the end of this add-on part of the house. Really really creepy feeling there. And I said that I think we should try and do something different is just call out and just listen to see if it takes time for a response. Okay, um, I'll do one call out and we're gonna be silent. Yeah, this is like a silent investigation. We've never done this before, so it's quite new. We've done this, we do this every week. No, but I mean like literally one call out and just be silent to see mm. what happens. If there is anybody here who can still hear us. Mitching, hang on. If there's anyone here who can still hear us, we're going to be silent now to try and listen and give you time to respond. If you can do anything at all to let us know you're here, please do so.
What is out that direction? Just. Is that the where we came? Fucking hell, what's that? I have no idea. Do you? Yeah. I have no idea. So some you... Yeah. <laughs> what I was going to say is, I swear I've just seen cut oh, this car, isn't it? Is that where the road is, what I'm trying to get at? Ah, uh, maybe, yeah. So much for being silent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Your turn pout face. <laughs> There's been a lot of that there. That's a gun. That's a gun. It, we we heard a, a gunshot outside just after Elliot had this weird sort of ticking sound, like me, uh, wood being flicked or something. I'm not sure what that was. It's all become irrelevant very quickly. Shit. Yeah. Double shit. Yeah. Extra shit on toast. Yeah. Like, that's really shit. Yeah, that's a good warning. Fuck. So, we, we don't decide to leave, we decide to hide, essentially. We wanted to get away from that window to get away from anyone seeing us. So the first instinct really is to just go to the, to a room where you know you can't be seen and turn off the lights. We went into, uh, we, we decided to go to the middle part of the corridor just so that we could get a better all round feel of what's going on, maybe something in the house. We could hear both ends then. And um, that's when I think we picked up something absolutely spectacular. So even on night vision now. That's not good, I'm gonna put my light on red. My fucking adrenaline. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. That's just been shot in this forest. Yeah. I saw a light as well. Fuck off, did Would they be lamping? Could be. Oh, they, well, they wouldn't shoot towards the bloody house anyway. I mean, well.
there's someone in here with a fucking gun. It might sound dramatic, but that's how my brain just processed everything. I really don't want to be in there now. That was a gun outside. That was. Yeah. I saw a light, heard a gun. How the fuck is... I, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck, I can hear it. I don't know what the fuck is happening. That's, that's fucking weird though. Because why would they just come out and, and walk around and go? I thought someone was about to walk in there. So did there was no light. There was no fucking light. And somebody almost entered the house and then walked around the building, but we saw no lights, we had no breathing, we had no talking. We just walk around the house. As if they just, they can see in the dark and they're just having a look around. It was, it was, there was no creeping. It was just walking as fast as they could. Just having a look in rooms, opening doors or whatever. I, I just can't figure out for the life of me how the hell that is possible to be a, a human. It sounds human, but I, I can't, I just cannot explain it. Happy about that. It's just been shot in this forest. Yeah. I saw a light as well. Would they be lamping? It could be. Well, they wouldn't shoot towards the bloody house anyway. I mean, well. Oh, something on my face. That's just been shot in this forest. Yeah. I saw a light as well. Fuck off, did Would they be landing? It could be. They, well, they wouldn't shoot towards the bloody house anyway. I mean, well... About that. That's just been shot in this forest. Yeah. I saw a light as well. Would they be lamping? Could be. They, well, they wouldn't shoot towards the bloody house anyway. I mean, well.
Where's my back? I know someone's looking at me. I really fucking don't like this. I really, I do, I don't. That's Cox. This is shit. Yeah, this is not good. This is actually shit now. Um, we need to get the fuck out of here. The problem is we have to walk through the fucking forest to get out. We need to go and check that red van. Well, what I'm now suggesting is that we make ourselves as obvious as possible. If there are people with fucking guns, they haven't come in, they've gone out. Right, if someone's just come in... That was a knock. Is there anyone still fucking here? That's the thing. No. Are they trying to, like, lure us out? I heard them go back down the stairs. I mean, funny, if someone knew we were here, they would not be fucking running around like that. They this didn't, they weren't creeping. Thing is, there's been no lights. That there was. I saw one outside. Yeah, but that was a gun, wasn't it? Well, there was, there was light, like movement of light. It could have been a car, but then we heard a bloody gun. There's so much. There's there? so many paranormal noises now. Oh man, I actually feel sick. I have never been this freaked out in my life. I, I'm. I've literally never been this fucking freaked out. I don't even know what the feeling is. This is genuinely the scariest night I've ever... Really but there's no one here. You know we're stalling because we're frozen. I don't want to move. Listen, there's so many noises now. <sighs> but they went down the stairs. It's... And then we heard the latch go after. There's no quiet mate. But like, the, you know... Wait, hang on. They're, they're locked. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You heard the latch of the door as if they fucked off out the front door. So, like, we need to... But they're not in the out building anymore because you fucking hear it. Yeah, well, Well, they'd hear us. We just need to do it, don't we? They went down these stairs. Seemed to move that if you look at the fact that we were stood sort of down the corridor where the top of the small set of stairs are, they had to have walked down those stairs and you can hear the footsteps loud. You cannot say that's not footsteps. It is footsteps. There's no two ways about that. They go down those stairs. You then hear a latch. That latch could either be the window that we came in or the door that's round to the left. When I, when we, well, when we were first exploring, I go to that door and it was sort of almost slightly open, but you can't open it. It was, it was sort of locked, but unlocked. And I wish I had spent more time to figure out if that door was actually openable or not, if someone could have gone out there or not. Because if, if you can't go out that door, it's not a human. Didn't they? Well, sort of.
that. Okay. I heard this. Upstairs. This is fucking weird. You can't walk around this place with no lights. It's impossible. It's so it's pitch black. I didn't see any lights. So what the fuck was that then? Paranormal. Fucking loud for paranormal. Oh, what, the gunshot? That wasn't paranormal, was it? Well, no. But bad of a coincidence that gunshot goes off and then someone walks in. <sighs> okay, we just need to leave. Wait, how is that door? What is that door? What door? This door. Where we came in. It's still the same. That's how I left it. You I put it on the latch? I left it like that, yeah. Oh, it's just weird, man. This is so weird. It's locked. What was that? Yeah, we need to get the fuck out of it because yeah. I keep hearing like people. Yeah. Like there's just a weird squeaky ass noise there, like a high pitched gate noise. Like, if we do get a signal, I want to be out of the building. It was that that I heard. Really? High pitched. Somebody opened a gate or something. So we need to, we're going to go towards that car, the van. We need to check that out. We do. Yeah. Our minds are on overdrive now because we've just done it. When you watch it back, you go, I don't know. Yeah. But we haven't got any cinematics. I don't know how we're supposed to get out. So we walk around we that way. Should we do cinematics before we go? It's tempting, isn't it? I didn't get any photos or anything. No. We have a good excuse. We have a good excuse. We need to go that way, I think. Yeah. I'm just going to keep recording, let's just walk. Yeah. Holy shit, this place looks insane from out here. Yes, it is. This is just insane. I'm really annoyed. It's very annoying that it just ended like that, but I mean, yeah. like I almost feel like stupid now. Do you know what I mean? Like why did we just run out? Let's go back in. I think we should go. I don't think that's okay. Yeah, it's just fucking stupid to go back in the house. Isn't yeah. It? But we are stupid. Why? If we do do things like that. Anything to complete a goddamn video. So once, it's one chance, isn't it? We're here. Carry on recording. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, though. My butt is that fucking thing, and it's just your brain's telling you not to. Yeah. Your heart's telling you it makes a good video. Logic says to fuck off, you've recorded something good. But your heart's like, that you was, know you can do be better. That is dangerous. I. That's, it is dangerous because I don't feel like I'm safe. Well, is that just our minds being overdrive? Oh, you're going to kill us. We're going to go back in the house. We're good, aren't we? Let's just do it. Let's just fucking do it. We're going God's back sake. I pissed myself off. No, we've got to do this. We've got to see this thing through because we know how it is, you've got to find out what the truth is, even if there is someone there. Yeah, anything major, well, tell you what, if it's paranormal, we should probably carry on. Yeah. Because that can't have actually been a person, the more I think about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the gunshot was a person, but that running around was not a person. Did they just fucking disappear and, like, appeared? Yeah. Do you know what? If we look back at that, that could genuinely be some of the best evidence we have ever captured in our lives. Probably a good decision to go back in the building because 
if we didn't, we wouldn't have captured what happened next. For fuck's sake, here we go. Here we go. Take that and I'll get the fucking... I'm gonna get the torch attached. Okay. Get the torch attached. That is actually fucking insane. Like genuinely insane. No, I know it is. Like actually insane. I literally just need to get out of it. I can't even what explain it. I don't. What's that just footsteps upstairs again? I just don't know. Wherever it is, it's fucking invisible. We never film this part of the no. investigation. It might, okay. been, it might have been a car. Oh, well, these are going to be really shit. What? The cinematics. Why? Because it's, we're just too not thinking about it. <laughs> and we went back in and I remember Joe going in saying, I need to get some cinematics. Otherwise, I can't piece this thing together. So I went out into the corridor and I was going to use one of my lights to shine through the corridor. And then he was going to use a red light and that's how we get our cinematic effect. Right, let's calm down. Nothing's happening right now. Yeah. I mean, that's a good shot, isn't it? Yeah. We get like... The white down there and the red up there. Yeah. But I went towards Joe and he was stood in the kitchen with his red light in his in his hand and the camera and he's looking at me like that was not me. Then I think maybe 15 seconds later, it's, it's almost like a gunshot. I just, I'm going. No. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. What the actual hell? I had everything in shot. That was just like, get out. We're going. Can you?
you see anybody inside at all? No, we just walked around a all. No, I know, but that noise came from up, up there in that middle corridor. Can we please get the hell out of here? Yes, please. Please. Yeah. Where we, let's follow that road around the front. Yeah, let's get some shit in the bag. Sorry, yeah. First of all, it was like I wasn't on camera with that first noise. So yeah. I was like, for f sake. Yeah. Then, boof. Yep. That just proved it. It literally couldn't have been you because yeah. you were stood. I had. I, I it was, was upstairs where I was, or like yeah. <laughs> looking up, if you know what I mean. Like mm. the, the bit upstairs where I was. But I was filming down this bottom corridor and then I turned Can we f off. Yes. I'm actually shitting like that. I just don't know. It feels so stupid to leave when we're getting all this. But I'm, I'm yeah, done. No, no, but it doesn't because we always have said that thing. If it feels like you shouldn't be here, then you shouldn't be here. They've clearly let us know, I think. That wasn't a like, oh yeah, welcome, happy days, let's have some biscuits and shit. No. Look at my arm, I have full goosebumps. It's like, I am shitting myself. This is stupid, let's go. First time in over a decade of investigating, I felt like this. I have never been so scared in a location no. in my life. I can't believe what's just happened. I've caught it. How oh, amazing. I feel happy because I caught it on camera. Like, I caught you and right upstairs. I nearly fell out of my skin. Yeah, alone all those footsteps, the screams. Because you still feel like you don't want to f***ing go. Like, yeah. <clears throat> I, I, kind of. <laughs> that is the most terrifying investigation we've ever done. And I'm walking away from it right now thinking, holy crap, we've done this. We've come across something. And in my opinion, a lot of that, all of that, fuck it, all of it, Mostly, it's paranormal. What the hell? <clears throat> this is just weird. They were doing something to do with this, surely. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but the van's not here anymore, so. But that is proper weird. Absolutely fascinating place. In my opinion, the most haunted house we, we've ever investigated. I want to go back. Um, I think we've captured real paranormal, in my opinion. It's, it's the typical thing with paranormal that you can never officially find an answer. This is one of the first times in my life I actually want to, in, in over a decade of investigating, this is the first time in my life I think I actually wanted to say that this is, this is paranormal.